Once again, I'm leaving much later than what I wanted to do. But I had a good time last night and I might have stayed out a little bit later thanks to Peter and Cal. But anyways, we'll see what I can do today. Right now it's about 11 o'clock and I'm leaving the hotel. All right, it's been good, Changzhou. Nice little city. In China, Changzhou is considered a, quite a small city, but I think it still has like 3.5, 4 million people or something like that. And back home in Canada, that's considered a really big city. I haven't seen much of it, but uh, Changzhou really seems like a nice little city. I wish I could have stayed a little longer, but I got ground to cover. And talking about that, I might have to stretch this trip to a four-day trip instead of a three-day trip. Because today, my legs are really sore, my butt hurts, and I'm not sure I'll be able to make it to Suzhou, which is 87 kilometer. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I might have to stop in Wuxi instead and uh, make this one extra day. Let's worry about that later. Now, uh, really got to find a place to have breakfast because I'm starving and it's uh, getting closer and closer to noon. So yeah, breakfast, lunch, something. I found a nice little spot by the water to eat my breakfast. It's uh, beautiful, isn't it? Got nice uh, little power plant right there. And this beautiful chimney. Hmm. I think I'll go a little further. I don't think a few kilometers will make a difference, but uh, I don't know, it's uh, psychological, I guess. I found a little bench in a bus stop. So I think that's gonna be the spot. Let's just not think about the power plant and the big chimneys and factories all around me. So let's see how good China is at recycling. So you got recyclable and non-recyclable. Now let's go around. Keep in mind, this one is non-recyclable. Oh, on this side, recyclable and non-recyclable. No matter where you put your garbage in, I guess it all goes to the same place or something. I'm not used to this. To me, this is a scary sight. I got some little bad news. Um, the Gorilla Pod with the little uh, contraption I used to hold my phone to film my scenes uh, just broke out of nowhere. I don't know why. So, um, from now on, I might switch to mostly to this little Chinese camera. I don't know if the image is going to be better or worse. I know for sure that the sound will be worse because I tried it before and the sound is horrible. But uh, I, I'll try to do my best with this. You let me know what you think. Is, is the image better with this or when I film with my phone? And uh, maybe in Wuxi, I'll be able to find a little... Uh, a little thing to attach my phone again. This industrial area is not really nice. It's quite dirty, it's ugly, and a lot of toxic fumes are really bad smells.
So it seems like the road from Changzhou to Wuxi is a lot more uh, populated than urban because uh, I'm halfway right now and it's the first time I see a little bit of countryside. Most of what I've seen so far is like small towns, uh, factories, industrial areas. And I finally see like a little village and a little, little bit of nature. Awesome. The bridge is blocked for construction. That's the second time it happens on this trip. It happened last night. I didn't film it because I was just in a hurry to arrive in Changchou. It was getting late and everything. I hope I can find a way nearby to cross the river because if I have to go way back to get the other road, that's a long way. All right, let's see what I can find around here. I'm gonna try and ask questions with my little tiny, tiny Mandarin. Yeah. Uh, we out to this. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, how the? I go like this and then. Thank <laughs> you. made it past the construction part. They built a little, little ramp just for scooters and motorbikes and bicycles. I can keep going. It's the first time I see a laundromat in a village, in an outdoor one. It's pretty cool. Hey guys, I uh, just met the Hank here. He was uh, also biking on the road. Where do you come from on your bike? Uh, I take my bike from Nanjing. Uh, I, I will go to Shanghai. So he's doing the same trip as me. When did you leave uh, Nanjing? I leave Nanjing at uh, 6 a.m. Today? This morning? Yes, of wow. course. And, uh, and when do you plan to arrive in uh, in Shanghai? Uh, I plan to uh, 9, 9 p.m. 
Tonight? Yes. Today? Yes. Wow. Yes. So you do the whole trip in one day? Uh, about uh, about uh, 300 kilometers. Wow. You're really fast. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, just uh, uh, have a fun, just a uh, 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 trip. Hank is doing uh, the trip. I will take three or four days to do. It will only take him one day. He's a bullet. <laughs> He's really good. I'm really impressed. Uh, maybe one day I can try to reach this kind of uh, speed, but um, I'm not anywhere close to that. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. And uh, good luck with the rest of the trip, uh, Hank. So, uh, Hank decided to uh, to join me and slow down a little bit and uh, stop in Suzhou. So uh, we're I'm um, oh, we can cross now. All right. So uh, now I'm gonna have a a biking partner for the next couple of hours. That's great. I think I'm arriving in Wuxi, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it's the smog or the fog. The air is not very clear today. Yeah. I'm not sure I would swim in that water. How about you, Hank? Would you swim in that water? No. No. <laughs> no. It is too dirty. But it's a beautiful green. Oh, I see. I see. It's too too dirty. Yeah. I love green. Green is my favorite color, but not when it comes to water. And uh Back on the highway. This highway segment is sponsored by Google Map. Google Map, we make your ride painful. I thought I was gonna stop in Wuxi and make it a four day trip, but uh, Hank convinced me to push forward and uh, make it to Suzhou. And we thought we were gonna be able to make it there and just eat once we arrive, but uh, hunger took over and uh, we had to stop in a little mall to get some food. So I got some uh, rice noodle with beef and a little, a little weird soup. This nice plate of rice noodles with uh, beef and vegetables is only 13 kwai. Good deal. He killed his rice. Not one grain left. Look at this. I think the restaurant doesn't even need to clean it. I think there's like 10, 10 15 kilometers left to, to Suzhou. We're gonna make it. Not quite in the center yet, but uh, we're in Suzhou. Now let's try and get a little closer to the center and see what is Suzhou. At first I was thinking of booking a little hotel room in the center of Suzhou, but by the time we got in town, I got really tired and I didn't feel like hunting for hotels, so we booked two rooms in this little shady hotel. Let me show you. It's not quite the Ritz and it smells a bit funny, but uh, I've seen worse and uh, I guess for one night it will do. 
Good night.